y'all what's up everybody once again it's brand man sean and this video is brought to you by brandmannetwork.com because i signed myself now what do we all know at this point we know that lyrics and messages is not enough but so many rappers still want to hang their hat on that and make them feel like this should blow my song up but that is not the truth, we need more. But what does more look like? Enter a rapper by the name of Yellow Pain, who I believe exhibits two strong things that artists should keep in mind when it comes to having songs with messages that actually make an impact. So what's the reason number one? It's storytelling, but it goes a little bit deeper than that. Because of course we know we have a lot of people who have songs that have messages and things like that, and we know that there's a lot of people who have songs that tell stories. But the next layer of that, when we're talking about impact, it's not storytelling, it's story selling. How does this story get sold to people? Because if people aren't sold on your story, right, and the message is being given, then it's not going to have that impact. It's like watching a movie and you're like, okay, I see them doing all this stuff. They have all these great graphics, but I don't believe it. You, I'm sure you walked out of a movie and didn't really like it because you didn't believe the story. And a lot of people face that issue with their music. Even if someone says, yo, you killed it lyrical wise and I understand the story, you're talking something real, but they don't make that connection, then you end up with a similar result where it just doesn't seem that people care too much but he gets through that he powers through that a lot because of two things that i love that he does one not only when he's rapping and he's telling stories a lot of times he's not just rapping at you a lot of times he's actually telling stories from a perspective a strong perspective at that and i've said this many times the perspective is one of the most unique things that artists can offer people to make them connect a lot of times he's actually speaking from the perspective of the person in the story not necessarily how he feels about that perspective which leads to something that i love about him which is the fact that he doesn't get in the way of his own stories what i mean by that is not only is it not all about how he feels about these subjects because sometimes he's rapping from the perspective of the person in the scenario even if it is a guy like him but even bigger than that if you look at his music videos He's not even in a lot of his music videos, or if he's in them, he's in small parts of his music video, but it's not about him. He's not getting in the way of his own story. What's more important to you? Are you trying to sell the story, the piece of work, or are you just trying to sell yourself? Because the funny thing that happens oftentimes is if you sell enough of the work, sell the stories well enough, you get the credit at the end of the day. This guy has so many different videos he's tackling so many subjects whether it's likes on social media and, and and the weird perspective people have about that his brother coming out whether it's uh sexual assault uh just weird influences or bad influences and the stories of how that can affect you i can go on and on about the different subjects and stories that he tackles but the point is he tells them well and because of the things that i mentioned in the actual story selling that takes place people are able to not just hear the stories but connect and empathize even if it's not your story, even if you don't even know anybody with that story, you can still relate. A perfect example is if you look in the comment section of his video for 100, which is a story when he's talking to his brother who came out and the way he presented that and, and did that, that junk is so unique. But if you just look at the comments, you'll see people again and again talking about they're crying. Just looking at the top comment right now, Dad says, bro, does every song of yours just punch me in the chest with emotion? And you see all kind of comments agreeing with that. Someone else said, I barely listened to three of your songs and they all got me crying. Another person said, as soon as the whole family came out, I just started crying. We're not just talking about intellectually appreciating something, how you executed the story or agreeing with the topic. We're talking about being moved emotionally by the story. That's the difference between telling a story and selling a story. Speaking of, if you look at the comment section of his song, Graduation, you see so many people relating to that subject and, and, and talking about how it touched them emotionally and all that stuff. But what I love about the song, Graduation, graduation is the fact that it's a song about parents showing favoritism to their children and not just talking about that subject but going at it from a deep perspective and once again the perspective of somebody who's experiencing that which actually brings me to the second point the first one was story selling over storytelling right but point number two is actually having different subject matters we talk so much about these real stories, right? They don't want to hear this real music, but so many times when artists are referring to real music, it's talking about the same subjects and the same struggles. But how many times have you heard somebody 
talk about favoritism. That's a very real issue, parental favoritism, but is not addressed. So your mar market is really saturated when you're talking about somebody saying like it's hard in the hood or I don't have money issues. And if you talk about I don't have money, then you have to present it in a different way. Or one of these other subjects that have a saturated market, you have to talk about it and present it in a different way. We can't expect a whole lot of people to just rally around stories that they've already heard. And again, yellow pain is doing these two things extremely well and he's doing it again and again and again and it's not an overnight thing he only has three videos that have a million views and that's been pretty much all in like the last eight months but he's been doing this for years and if you go back in his catalog that's just going to have more and more impact over time it's going to continue to grow and it's making people like him in a short period of time I'll put a few links to his videos in the description below. But other than that, as always, this video is brought to you by BrandManNetwork.com because I signed myself. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button if you like it. You might as well share it. And if you're not subscribed, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.